Ken Kraft, you have to have in wrestling, you have to have the strength of a weightlifter, the flexibility of a gymnast, the agility of a boxer, but there's one other factor you have to have in this sport, and that's the mental toughness of a chess player. How does a wrestler, well, you wrestled, you coached, how do you mentally prepare for a match? Well, there's a number of things involved, but generally speaking, I think the key is to make sure you're alert when you go out there. Be very much aware of what you're going to attempt to do, review in your mind what you're going to do, and then after it starts, the maintenance of intensity is so important because you'll see a match start to wobble around. Yes. So you got to keep it. You got to keep that intensity going, and uh, the great champions are the ones that are able to do that. All right, and we have a great champion coming up in our next weight class. His name is Jesse Reyes, and he wrestles for Cal State Bakersfield. And he shared with us his personal mental preparation before a match. I tell myself I'm going to wrestle seven minutes hard and smart. And I look at my opponent, and I look at his strength. Is he strong? Is he good on his feet, or is he a good rider? It, or does he tend to uh, gas a lot? If he does, then I take it to him really early. And I just try to wrestle smart, and I listen to what my coach tells me, uh, you know, because he scouts them before I wrestle them. And basically, I know a little bit about them before I wrestle them. So I just kind of oh, uh, look, look at everything and just kind of think about it. Jesse Reyes getting ready to compete in the 142-pound weight division. He is a senior from Cal State Bakersfield, 23 years of age. He is seated number one in his weight class. He has a chance of competing in the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. He'll be competing against Maurice Brown of SIU Edwardsville as we are underway. Our first period, three minutes and counting. Well, Jesse Reyes uh, has got so much ability, but I call him the master of the inside trip. And it's a takedown maneuver that, that Jesse uses, which he's not using now, but I think we're going to see him attempt it before we get through this first period. He likes to step in with his, with his right leg and inside his opponent's left leg and trip him right back. And, of course, Maurice Brown is aware of that, too. So he's going to be watching out for it. Jesse Reyes advanced to these finals with a tough semifinal match this afternoon over Mike Frazier. It was 14 to 13, and that match was every bit as close as the score indicates. Jesse Reyes had his hands filled with Mike Frazier, and I think he was surprised by it. So it'll be interesting to see how he reacts with Maurice Brown. Well, I talked to Jesse about that match, and Frazier from North Dakota State gave Jesse all he wanted. He caught him for two back situations. He put him on his back for a near fall, a three-pointer, then also a two-pointer. And uh, Jesse just kind of felt like maybe he didn't have his mind on the match like he should have. So he got through that one. As you say, it was that close, 14-13. And now Morris Brown is in here trying to, to see if he can stop the, the Reyes train. Reyes, of course, is the defending champion at this weight class and rated, as we said earlier, number one in the country. Morris, Morris Brown is the number three seed, 142-pound weight division. He is advanced through this competition by defeating John Grosskowitz with a 6-4 to four decision in the semifinals this afternoon. Oh, there's the takedown by, by Jesse Reyes. And he's got that 2 to nothing lead. Green, you're out of the surf. 117 Green. left Green. in the first period. Back here, red face up. As we take another look. Now here we see Reyes moving, trying to set Brown up. He gets him to step toward him. And there's that inside trip. You see it right there. He cuts that leg down, and he is he's really got a beautiful maneuver in there to score so many takedowns. Why now? Jesse, Jesse Reyes in the blue singlet. Maurice Brown in the red. Maurice Brown's from Morganfield, Kentucky. Now we saw uh, there Maurice scored an escape, but actually Reyes let him go because Reyes there feels goes. he's a much better takedown wrestler, so he'll trade two for one. He'll give the one point escape and then score another two point takedown. And that's part of that mental strategy. You know what you do best, so set your opponent up for that. Now Brown attempting a double leg, countered very, very well by Reyes. Jesse Reyes in the blue, who's a senior at Cal State Bakersfield, 23 years old. Maurice Brown is 21 years of age. Reyes. Red. One point green. One point green. Red called for stalling. 
Now there's that inside trip attempt, and it didn't work that time. But Reyes attempted it. He sometimes gets in trouble when he doesn't carry his body through his opponent. He kind of goes to him and stops. He's got to carry it through for it to work. Drive right through the opponent. Now, a little short arm drag. Nice motion by Reyes. He Two points for Reyes. Goes behind, scores the controlling takedown. Two seconds, one second left in this period, and we are now into our second period, which is two minutes in length. So we see the tossing Choices of the coin. Green. Came and up green, and the, up. Our, be done. our official is not colorblind. He's green calling out. Jesse Reyes' green because he has a green anklet around his, his right leg. Right. And uh, Jesse Reyes Set, green. Uh, oh. got the call. In other words, he flipped the coin, the green came up, so it was up to Reyes to decide whether he wanted top or bottom. And he chose top. Right. Now he's looking for a near side cradle. Our head referee is Fred Ambrose from Allison Park, Pennsylvania. And that's one point for Brown for the escape. Reyes really kind of let him go. He looked for that cradle and didn't get it, so he said, I'll go back now. Nice high crotch, single leg. Looks like it's going to be countered, though. Got red, blocking, point green, out. We block it in, point green. Now there's point another green. call. That, up right here. that is the second one. The third one will be a two-point penalty. The fourth one is disqualification. Now Brown's in on the leg. He's got Reyes' leg in the air, but countered by, by Reyes. Brown almost had something going for himself. Six to two. Jesse Reyes is up in the second period. 1.10 left in the second period clock. Reyes, a business administration major. Center. Well, Maurice Brown is majoring in recreational science. Reyes does, does have an opportunity to make that Olympic team. He, he indicated to me he's going to, he has to go up in uh, about seven pounds. The, the, the Olympic weight is 149.5. The next one down is 136. He says, I can't make 136, so I'm going to try and make the team at 149. He recognizes he has a couple of veterans up there, uh, Andy Ryan from Madison, Wisconsin, and Nate Carr from Erie, Pennsylvania, are two of the men that he would have to beat out to make that team. Now, there's two more. It's now eight to two. And then he turns Brown loose for an escape. He, he's continuing to work the takedown release strategy. Two for one. Two for one, just trade it off. Sounds like grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> no. and again, there's another, there's another one. Another two. And let me guess, there'll be an escape coming after. <laughs> well, as he gets down toward the end of the period, he might try to just keep him under and uh, not seconds. give him the cheap, uh, the cheap one this time. He'll ride Three, him out to the two, end. Three, two, one, and that's what he did. So this is a textbook lesson for any young wrestlers out there on how to make the most of your advantages. And Jesse Reyes, obviously very strong at the takedown. Let's Maurice Brown escape occasionally so he can get the two points for the takedown. Inside turn, he comes up. One out. And he gets the escape and goes right back in at the leg. He being Reyes. Oh, he see him try that inside trip again. Didn't catch it. Now he's now he's letting Brown shoot, and he just uses he just posts that arm and, and goes behind. Now our score is 13 to three. Time. We're in our final Three. period. Timeout. And we have timeout call. Maurice Brown. I think, injury or blood? I think it's well. I believe it's a. a, a Which I guess a both injuries. Some, yes. I'm not sure. Something in his eye. Tears. And there's Joe C. And Perry Shea on the left talking with Jesse Reyes. And he can coach him, of course. Okay, stop it. We have a team deduction. We had coaching in the corner on injury time. Deduct one team point. Nothing to do with the match. One team point. Coaching in a corner. All right, we heard that very clearly <laughs> from so, Fred Ambrose that because Maurice Brown was being coached by Coach Kristoff from SIU Edwardsville, they will now deduct one point from the team, but SIU Edwardsville is so far out in front. Yes, it's he like can afford. taking a slingshot to a cannon. <laughs> he can, in fact, 
uh, afford that at this particular Th that's point. That's interesting that it's a nice way to handle the situation where the coach comes out. It doesn't affect the wrestler personally. It hurts the whole team. Right. So at least the wrestler isn't out there whining. Coach, sit down and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the team maybe, but not the individual. Well, it, it generally works pretty well. The coaches understand it, and they they uh, they know that they shouldn't do it. And sometimes they just forget. It's frustration too. Right, much, right. So. Now Reyes in on another takedown, and there it is. And now it is 15 to four. And another escape. He just let him go. And five. One Set. One minute left in this match. Jesse Reyes up 15 to five. Now Maurice Brown is he's not really setting those dives up very well. He just feels like he's got to shoot, but if he gets another stalling on him, it'll be a, as I Red indicated. Marking 2.3. There it is. Now he's now got he to be. He heard you. That's, well, that was the problem with that. <laughs> he's got to be careful because he can not get through this match. He has 33 seconds. I understand if you get called for stalling again, that's the match. Where we hear referee Ambrose, if you get called for stalling again, that's the match. That means that's you're just. You you're disqualified. That's not how you want to take a silver medal. No, that's that's true. And uh, I think we may see Brown make what are, would be considered some bad moves just so that he'll stay aggressive, even though the moves may not be so good. But he's down now to just 13 seconds remaining. 19 to 5. Eight seconds left. And he's going to get one more escape, Three it seconds. looks like. And there it is. That's 19 to 6. Plus riding time for the 20 to 6 final score. And Jesse Reyes did not disappoint his following as we see referee Ambrose raising Jesse Reyes' hand. Reyes, our winner in the 142 pound division. And we'll be back with more right after this commercial messages. Be sure to stay with us. We have lots of wrestling on hand at this Division II National Championships here in Baltimore, Maryland.